Right golf mates, today is a day. I'm here at Burwood Lakes. You ready? The tour workshop Mizuno. So I know I've got Matt and Alex waiting for me, the big hitters, and I can't wait for this. All I've got to do is warm up, swing a golf club, and they're going to do everything for me. Right, in this video, I'm going to show you as much facts as I can about the fitting, but more importantly, I want to enjoy it and get fit well. You know what that means, get fit well? It means get some great clubs, and more importantly, play well and win a lot of fivers. Right, golf mates, here we are at Mizuno. We've got Matt and we've got Alex. Alex is going to be the silent assassin, keeping quiet and just giving us the important stuff. Matt is going to give <laughs> us all the data and whatever we need. Matt, take it away. Welcome back, for starters. Um, good to be back. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's looking a bit more summery, a bit more golfy, and uh, yeah, it's nice to be out playing some golf, so yeah. Maybe with some new sticks. Right, process, how does it go? So we'll, uh, we'll start with your irons. So have you got your current irons with you? Yes. Cool, so we'll hit a handful of your irons, get a feel for where your good one is, where your bad one is, what's going on um, with what you want to see, etc., etc. from the fit. It's all gonna kind of really be, always with fitting is feedback, you know, we'll get into it, we'll just hit some shots. A lot of it is in the moment, you know, what you feel there, what's going well, what's not, um, and we'll kind of just uh, build a picture as we go. Okay, no problem. Yeah, hit, forget we're here for, for a couple of minutes. So just hit six, seven, eight balls with yours uh, and we'll just see what's going down. Nice. Now in terms of your, uh, when you're out on the golf course, where's your, where's your bad shot? If you're going to hit a bad shot, where does it tend to go? Is it more... More strike related, distant. Yeah, uh, loses left to right, but I've slowly last week. I feel like I'm coming up at top, not moving. Okay. So I can get that. A bit left, more, like three more than weak right. Okay, so seen this before, used this before. Yep, seen it with Josh. Came down, absolutely, yep. So uh, same, um, uh, same story with everyone that uses this. It's not worried about strike, doesn't matter about ball flight. Uh, I mean, you could hit one 100 yards right, 100 yards left, and then one straight down the middle. All that this is going to look at and all it's concerned about is what's going on during your golf swing. So. All right, that's going to be interesting, right? So just jump around here, right? So now we've got three swings there, which we'll agree were probably three different outcomes, right? Oh, massively, yeah. So the optimizer there is going to band your move in, in, uh, in very simple and easy to understand numbers. So we've got everything here from one to nine, one being quite quiet, nine being quite aggressive. So it okay. um, does look like a table of nonsense, but it does make a bit of sense when you look at it. So you've got head speed, tempo, toe down, kick angle, and release factor. So three very different shots, three very similar numbers. So put that into what's happening in your goal swing, coming from a very similar place, but strike was an issue which we can look at down the line and we'll look at that through the fit so we keep our eye on that but very very consistent into the ball um, and what that's going to give us is a nice starting point on shaft flex and shaft weight the head speed and flex will differ because you know just because you swing it very fast doesn't mean you necessarily need something that's very stiff so where the two even themselves out is if you've got i mean 81 82 is, is healthy speed uh, by no means is it you know your big thugs having a, having oh, a launch at it. Like, yeah. No, but uh, it's still good speed, but where you get a little bit steep on it and you get your toe down being quite, uh, quite a low number, the flex might come into play a little bit more to try and, f try and figure out a way to square the face. Right, so <laughs> next point of call is how tall are you? 6'1"-ish. With your dancing shoes on. Yeah, I've got them on. Let's, uh, let's have a look at your old wrist. So just, uh, just stand up like you are as a gent and just let your hands swing freely down and then just make a fist with your left hand. Yeah. So again, just this is these are all just starting points, but it just going through the process of the app, going through the process of the fit, it just does things at the right point. If you know, if you follow this as a does it like speed time up? 
Massively, yeah. There are certainly things in your move that will be helped by head design, by length. You know, length might be an issue. Uh, and all these things that, you know, if you gave Alex and I a club that wasn't built for us, I'd be useless. You know, I would, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be low fading it all around. The, well, I'd do that anyway. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, Matt, you like getting fit in? Obviously, you do pros, you do the other people who come for the tour experience. What about if people are nervous, like myself? It's, it's always going to be a slightly different environment, but you, you can, uh, you can be you damn sure. Do you have a rough sure. idea, early doors, what people are going to have? Uh, experience? Not always. No, not always. No. Because, you know, during the fit, you get, as you say, you get a little more relaxed. You tend to, I mean, like you've just said there, you know, you think, oh, okay, that's, that's more of yeah, just how, I, relaxing, how I feel. Yeah. yeah, and that will come. So I'm not going to tell you too much about them. Right, okay. I'm not going to give you too much um, information from what it should be on paper. Now, now we're into the, the, the side of the fit where it's as fluid as we can be, just be nice and relaxed, hit some shots, keep everything as natural as you can, but we're going to get a little bit of feedback and a little bit of chat through the way. What does that feel like? It feels like I'm not flushing. I feel like I'm not, not hitting it in the middle. You know what I mean? Okay. Or not even hitting the ground first or what? I don't know. That was a better move. So yeah, so let me just grab that from you. And I'm gonna give you that. Yeah, I am. Sorry, I was gonna change that, but you're all good. Good. What did that feel like? We're all right, I didn't, I don't. Not blown away by it? Yeah, I don't think I hit it super, but obviously. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. There's no right or wrong in here. That's why it's actually quite fun. You know, it's not, there's no right or wrong. It's got a good few at the end of it. We start hitting good shots. Exactly. Aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. And then, and you can see that through the fit, and hopefully, you know, you can find out what you like and what you don't like, and you can get through it. And and it doesn't matter whether you're off 28 and you are hitting all sorts of different shots. I guarantee, from 99% of fits, you'll walk away and you'll go, right, I feel better about my game because of this. And, yeah. and if it's only a handful of things, it's a handful of things you had before you came. Of course, yeah. <laughs> you know, so there's there's a lot to be said for it. I'd say, if we have caught it in the middle, it feels a bit hard or noisy. Okay, it? good. Is that good help or not? Yep. All right, good. Swinging it back. Let me just tweak something out there, Liam. Let's go try something. What's that look like visually compared to the previous head? Uh, it's all right, yeah. It's a bit nicer. I think it's, is it smaller? Slightly, ever so slightly. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, I feel like that, that one flew off the face, if that makes sense. I yep. Mean, out with a better swing, but it did. It were easy, I didn't try and hit it, if that makes sense. So the, the, that's the forge, that's the 921 forge. Is it? Uh, so, you know, we, on the previous head we were hitting, you said it felt a little bit hard. Yeah, slightly I don't different know if it felt hard, made a noise, you know. Yeah, so the, the Hot Metal Pro that we were hitting previous. Is that what it were? Yeah, yeah that's a Hot Metal Pro, and that's designed um, to gain a little bit of distance, it's a little bit more distance uh, orientated versus our forgings, which are real honest, not gonna, um, not all of a sudden gonna hit it 210 yards, you know, designed to be a lot more accurate. So I suppose if it sounds nice and feels like it just helps you, doesn't it? Okay, good. So is that a lighter head or a shaft? Shaft, yeah, we're yeah. looking at shaft at the minute. So we're gonna keep that same forged. Um, but again, versus what we just hit, that's a slightly different option again. So we won't tell you what it's meant to do or what it's meant to feel like. Just hit a handful and see what you think. What I will say, when I'm hitting them, and after these, they get a nice height. Golf makes fitting over. Two things, I've gained eight yards. What I've noticed, I've only just looked now, but before I let Matt go, this is what I walked in with, a club. Is that an inch? Inch. No, I still say, what have I got? So we have got there, we've got the 921 forged. Team that with the KBS Tour C-Taper Lite. Now, again, during the fit, there was that kind of reoccurring theme of, of weight, you know, and discussing the fact that we can shave some weight off and we can get something that you can manage a little bit better through the move. Um, again, only going to help with our strike and then equals some more distance. So happy there. So I've got a light shaft. Brilliant. So what's next, driver? 
Driver, yeah. So Should now fun, in terms of your <laughs> in terms of your set makeup, where do you go from your irons into your woods? Where's that split so, at, the, at the moment? I'll always go on playing well. Playing well, I've got four iron, then I've got like a driving iron. I don't really hit my free wood and then driver. Okay. But when I was playing better, which I am gonna try and put a lot of emphasis on me getting better this year, my setup was seven wood, four wood driver. Nice, yeah, that's all right. Right, go for mate. So we've locked in on that. Matt sent me up a driver. What did you send me up, Matt? So we sent the STX and the STZ, uh, just as a couple of options, as you say, because, uh, because we couldn't get down in here uh, due to some restrictions. So uh, sent the STX and STZ, which you had to play with, didn't you? Yep. You found, uh, found one that you preferred from a, from a feel-wise. All day long, this, this shaft, this club, this, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. Perfect. So we'll hit some shots with that. We'll see how that is behaving. See if we can, now that we're here and we've got all our options, see if we can better it, or if that is working well, and we'll keep it in the bag. Happy days. Oh. Right, that's that then. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice swing, yeah. I mean, I uh, more, I yeah, I mean, that's, irons, I? yeah, I mean, that's it. We just need a full set of them. <laughs> Maybe we could get a 40 degree driver. KG wet yank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm warmed up now. We've said that I'm coming on the inside. So you said my club head speed is always going to be there or thereabouts. But mm -hmm. if I get my technique a bit better, come on the inside. There's summer in the tank there, isn't there? There is, absolutely, with your distances. Because um, your speed, even with your irons, your speed was healthy. You know, you had 81, 82 mile an hour, your 7 iron, which is a good healthy speed. 100 mile an hour, then there were your driver speed. Now, where you'll benefit and where you can look at these numbers jumping up quite considerably is tightening up the rest of your game. Not necessarily worrying about speed, but doing it through efficiency. Yes. So, you know, if you, you look at your move there when you were just hitting those nice fades, but you're a little bit across it. Of course, you know, you're it's getting not that getting a hit, is it? Exactly. And it's sometimes when you strike, you're looking at your, your strike and your driver, it's almost a bit of a glance as opposed to a real thud. And that's where you'll see a jump in your distances by... Um, by making it a much more efficient hit without necessarily getting too strong into your club head speed. Um, and it would just, then you can obviously add another. So that's more tighten up technique, isn't it? Is yeah, it? yeah. And it's just being, um, your lines into the golf will being a bit smarter. So that's perfect. It's probably because everyone out there has probably got an over the top swing or a bit of a slice where you don't have to try and swing hard. You just get your technique right and your numbers can come across. But you were saying, no, what you fitted a bit. If I start getting it on the right inside, my speed will be the same, so the shaft still should be there or thereabouts for totally, me. Totally, yeah. What, what, and that's, that's the same nine times out of ten for everyone, is that you're not all of a sudden going to be swinging it ten mile an hour quicker. You know, it'd be very rare if, if someone came back in a year's time and said, what you fit me for isn't right because I've done this and I've gained ten mile an hour in your head speed. That's very rare. So the only way that you'll find more distance is through efficiency, but that there is going to remain constant. Of so all of a sudden, you're, what you're being fit for and your, your golf bag can only become more efficient because you're never going to be overpowering it because you're never going to really get that yeah. one much higher. And I'm not getting any younger. So it's not going to go faster, is it? No, no. But if we can find distance through efficiency, then we're on to something. Well, that's interesting, that golf, mate. So it just proves even after a fitting, you can change your technique. I don't know if it'd still be... Rolls Royce for you, isn't it? And there's still even more gains in the tank. Absolutely. Right, golf mates, finish the session. Now we're on the tour truck. Not showed you everything like the intro because I wanted to get it all right for myself. But this day of the world, where we are, Matt, we're here now. We've got a little problem, but it's getting resolved, isn't it? Yeah, we are, uh, we are struggling a little bit with component. Um, some head shortages, some shaft shortages. Um, so yeah, we can only supply what we have at the moment. Um, and unfortunately the shafts at the moment are, are tied up somewhere else. Um, they'll be with us as soon as possible, but at the moment we don't have any shafts. So they'll, uh, they'll be in the pipeline. Um, but yeah, as you say at the moment, we don't know when, uh, when that time frame will be. So what we've gone for, Matt, what did I get fit for in the end? So we've gone four to pitching or four to gap wedge in the 921 forged. Uh, just an extra little bit of help, but also that nicer feeling in the forged head. Um, and then we've gone into the wedges. We've got the ES21, 56 and 60, because we've got the gap wedge of the set. 
Um, so that's your kind of your iron hub, your wedges and your irons looked Love after. It. Love it. Um, and then we've got into a hybrid, so 19 hybrid to take that place of kind of a two iron. So I've no driving iron no more in it. No driving You're iron. Recommended. Yeah. In Just the from ease of use, you know, when we hit both of them. Um, yeah, it was, didn't it? It was. Quite a big difference in in ball flight, ease of use, all the things that you want at that point in the bag. Um, yeah, we had that ticked with the hybrid, so we've got the 19 hybrid into your uh, three wood forward, um, which we're going to loft in there at about 17 degrees, which bridges the gap of not too strong in your, your yeah, three wood. Yeah, that's what we're hoping for, yeah. Again, trying to get that nice, uh, that softer ball flight that we like with the forward, um, and then into your driver. Which didn't take much fit in that, did it? The driver was very good, yeah, the driver was very good. That was an educated, um, educated COVID send, try, see what you think. Um, which but was it come out off. perfect, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, no tweaking needed there, that was quite nice. And, and as you say, you had your, your Z and the X and you kind of, you found your happy, happy point between the two of them, so that was good. And we've gone for a mid size grip, haven't we? Yes, yeah, something with uh, grips, always the one that we always like to do when we're up on here, but just because of, of how many grips we do carry. We've got trays full of grips here, um, and that's something that we, uh, we can do up here when you get something in your hands, you like the feel of it, so. So what we are saying, I'm going to come back for the build, but what we have noticed is this. Josh had a couple of swings on the DNA when we were down there, and it's crazy this. He's got the same swing speed as me. Correct. But more importantly, we're chucking up a different shaft than me because we're both different. So what we are going to do, we're going to bring Josh back down here when we're fit it, uh, getting my clubs built, and uh, redo, redo Josh really, aren't we? Yeah, Save make sure he's in a good spot, yeah, because his golf was improved. He's a bigger lad now, right he way. has, he has. So, uh, yeah, so we'll keep an eye on that and, uh, and get him down, see, uh, see if we can improve him even more. But, just for let me have some clubs, we've got some demos for me, haven't we? Which are, we have, yeah. They're not perfect for me, but they'll be okay. Yeah, so for the time being now, once we wait for the components to come in, um, yeah, it gives you something to get out there and uh, enjoy your golf for the time being and uh, gives you a nice stopgap. Right, golf mates, I've had an absolute brilliant day, really have. Now, remember when I said about the giveaway, some irons? Here we go. You ready? You're not going to like this. But the magic word, if you want to win a set of irons, is Bolton. B-O-L-T-O-N. Bolton. So if you want to be in the draw, you've got to be a subscriber, be a golf mate. And I'm going to give it two weeks after this video, I'm going to do the draw. You ready? So comment below, Bolton. So listen, big thank you to Josh, Matt, Everyone at Mizuno and golf mates, you'll see me on the uh, golf course. Are you ready, Matt? I'm going to Absolutely. say it. Absolutely. Nothing feels like a Mizuno. <laughs>